Hello everyone. Today we are going to tell you about a few things that you keep in mind in case you face a fall. In case you end up falling, the first step is to stay calm, take a long breath and do not panic. In case your leg is stuck under the bike, well, use the other leg to free yourself from under the bike. Secondly, find a safe zone to stand or sit and rest. Being near the bike immediately after the accident might still be a hazardous zone to be in. Then, don't take off the helmet. Open up the visor, breathe a little more air. Taking off the helmet might further increase any injury that might have occurred on the head. Analyze your body, check for any injuries and strains that might have happened. Slowly open the helmet, open the jacket, remove your gear, be more comfortable and then walk towards the bike to inspect it and check what went wrong with the bike. So after you inspected yourself for any injuries, now it's your time to inspect the bike. First thing is to turn the key off. Just killing the kill switch won't make it happen because many electronics are still on even if the key is on and the kill switch is off. So first thing, to turn the key off. So once you have inspected the crucial points for any damages, now it's your time to start the bike and check for any leakages. The leakages can be around the radiator, that would be a coolant leak. The, another leakage area would be beneath the engine. Maybe your engine has taken a sudden impact or a heavy impact and the engine oil is leaking. So all these items are to be checked before you roll on the bike towards the next safe spot. Nextly, you need to lift your bike up. So if you have help around, use some help, lift the bike up with the help of few people. If you don't have any help around, what you need to do is grab the handlebar with your one hand and grab the rear 